Why are my night landings better than my day landings? <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're not worrying about the ground that's coming at you because <laughs> you can't see it. Watch. Oh. Hello. So one of the things I wanted to do when I knew I was going to get my pilot's license is I wanted to get my night rating. Uh, and for a couple of different reasons. Um, one, obviously, just to have the option of flying at night or landing at night. If you're flying somewhere and you get stuck, it's getting dark to be able to still be legal. Um, and of course, living in Canada with the shorter days and like, you know, late fall and winter and early spring and stuff. Um, just yeah, to have the extra option and maybe be able to do a night flight or whatever. Anyways, wanted to get my night rating. Long story short. Now, there are some advantages to doing a night rating, and there are some disadvantages to doing a night rating. Uh, the advantage is there's no exam. You just have to get effectively checked out like you would on a new airplane, something like that, where an instructor basically says, yeah, you know, we've gone over the stuff and you know how to fly at night, so you're good. The disadvantage to doing night rating is that it's at nighttime and the footage sucks. So yeah, a lot of the footage uh, that I took basically looks like this. There's a light in the cockpit kind of over your shoulder that um, helps illuminate the, the dashboard and stuff. Uh, and of course, so the, the face footage looked a lot like this. If you want to know about, um, night flying and some, that sort of thing, uh, then yeah, hopefully this will be interesting for you. And if you don't, then this is going to be awful. So yeah, this is the dark video. This is the, uh, <laughs> this video is definitely going to have that Game of Thrones vibe. But yes, enjoy, uh, the night footage, uh, in a moment. Uh, but first, let's go look at a light. Here we go. So I'm here uh, on a hill up above uh, the town, as you can see the town's there behind me, um, to show you something that's very interesting. If you look over my shoulder right there, at that red and white pole there, at the top of that red and white pole there is a very bright red light. And that red light is one of the night lights that we use uh, when we're night flying to kind of know where the hills are so we don't crash. It's going to be very difficult to see because the sun's right behind me, but there's the airport right there. Um, can I like get it to adjust the... There we go. There's the airport. And uh, yeah, there's there's three beacons on either side. On this side of the lake, uh, river, on the other side of the river, there's three beacons on the hills over there. And we use those to not crash. Um, so let's have... I'm out of breath because it was a big, bit of a walk to get here. Uh, so let's uh, have a, a look at that. Alright, there's two seven. So... I'm going to line up, I'm going to look at the end of my landing light. Okay. Get nice and stable, you can only see a few lines ahead of you, so yeah. it's not very much. So add the full power in. Airspeed's alive, gauge is green. Get the nose up. And once the nose up, is I'm transferring to instruments. Got you, okay, so you're looking at attitude, you're looking at airspeed, vertical speed. Making sure your heading stays stable. Alright, and I'm outside. And I can see I've deviated just a little bit. Nothing too major. Lining light off. Because it creates quite a big glow. Yeah. So I'm going to continue up. You can see outside. Nothing. Oh, pretty much. Yeah. So, over time, you also want to try and dip that a little bit if you can. Gotcha, okay. You can see out, out ahead of you, you have Tobiano there, yeah. but you can see the outlines of the two mountains. Yeah. That's the southwest marker. Okay. And there's yeah. your northwest marker. So we okay. want to stay in between those. Okay. On this side of these, and in between them horizontally. So, we're clear to the right, so I'm going to start my right turn here. And I'm looking at the nose here. So what are you looking for? I guess you're looking for the red lights when you come out of the turn, right? Yeah. And the town. Gotcha. The nice okay, part okay. about this is the town. So oh, okay. I got one red light, two yeah. red lights. Okay. So there's my two red lights, and I'm gonna turn parallel. Okay. I got the runway, so I'm just gonna fly downwind on here. How close does that mountain look? <laughs> it looks very close right I now. I know, terrifying, eh? No depth perception. Yeah. No. It feels like we're closer to the ground right now too, even though we're actually higher than we normally would be. Yeah. Oh, I guess yeah, 22. Oops. And as long as I am on this side of that red light, and higher than it, aka circuit altitude, I will not hit any terrain. Gotcha, okay. That's the confidence you're building in. So, looks like we're approaching the 45 here. So I'm going to ease the power back to 1500, let the nose drop, and start my turn. And I'm going to turn south. So I'm keeping an eye on my instruments now, making sure we got our descent rate, 
nice airspeed, looking nice and stable. And then probably towards the lights here, you got one, could be one over there. One, two, oh no, one, two, three here. That okay. is your, that is your uh, southeast is right there. Okay. Okay. Now the circuit procedure kind of said, don't even square it off, just do a nice lazy turn all the way around. Yeah. Or I'm used to of this. Gotcha. I'm used to this. So it's my comfort level. Do what you seem to feel is most prevalent. Right. But this is going to work just fine for us here. So green lights at the start, red lights at the end. As right. long as you make the green lights, those are what we're looking for. Okay. So fly to the green lights so you don't get in, into any illusions here. Right. And you can see these the little white rabbits, if you will. They're going to give you your alignment, which is really nice to have. Yeah. It's really hard to align when you're at an airport that doesn't have anything. So, once the landing light illuminates our touchdown zone and we make the green, we can pull the power. We can look at the end of our landing light. We're going to come down, flare. Oh my god, I lost my illusion. There we are. <laughs> so, I thought it was closer than I was. Right. It happens. You can give it a whirl. Alright, I have controls. You have controls. Land better than I can. <laughs> <laughs> Airspeed's alive. Nose is super light. That's okay. okay bring the nose up. Bring it up. Bring it up. You're ready to fly. Okay. There we go. And looking at my instruments. Heading. Watching my rudder. pitch. Watching rudder. my heading. There my rudder in there. Don't forget your rudder. That's what you lost there, and that's what happened. Okay. Okay. So, 65 knots. Or 70. Uh, still on 2.7, there's 1,300, landing light, which one's the landing light? Oh, this one here. Off right. Landing light off. Alright, and then so we're just holding our heading until we get to circuit height. So let's do a slight left bank here. Let's go just to the right of your, your south-west marker. So, so which way? A oh, slight, way. slight left bank, just to give yourself room for a teardrop here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's not a lot going on out there. <laughs> oh, this footage is going to be incredible. So I'm just kind of watching those lights, making sure I'm kind of along them. So along their lines. Yeah. Should I should I be um, giving myself base for the base and final? Like, should I should, like? I know the procedure kind of says you know hug hug this hill, go further out. But like, yeah. should I be more cl closer to the mountains to give myself that room? Nah. No, okay, that's up to you. Um, I, I, uh, I'm I pretty cautious at night. I don't like yeah. being close to terrain. Gotcha, okay. And uh, it's not a bad thing. So if you want to kind of keep the on the air. side of caution, stay closer to the runway, that's okay with me. For sure. Just you need to calculate that when you're doing your, your, your base and final turns there. Right. you got to be a little bit further. All right, so let's pull the power. 1,500, nose dip. Don't let it dip too far. Look ahead. Don't look into your turn. Look straight ahead. Somewhere in there, I think. Yeah, I agree. Wait so, on the flaps until you're nice and near turn. Looking good. There's your taxiway. Blue lines, taxiway. All right, turn. Don't overshoot. Turn it's really final. easy to overshoot the uh, final here. Gotcha. You're outside, air, airspeed. Outside, airspeed. Outside, airspeed. Okay. As you have no other visual reference, make sure you have enough power to make it. I don't care if you end up a little high. Right. It's okay. I don't want you to descend lower than this at the moment. So gotcha, keep your okay. nose low, keep your nose low. There. A little much on the power. Right to the green lights at the start of the runway. Right to the green lights at the start of the runway. Look between them, because that'll give you the peripheral vision. Okay. Look between them where you think the center of the runway, where the numbers would be. Look right there. Alright, don't pull back, don't pull back. Keep that nose down. You'll be okay. You can always go around. Right. Alright, so keep her in. Alright, there's the center there's line. Number. So, ease the power out. Look at the end of your landing light. There you are. Cruise. Okay, just ease, 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 ease. Nice. Beauty. Better than me. Pops up, car peed in. You should be teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> and instruments. There you are. Alright, so about there on that. Oh, no, nose forward a little bit more, a bit more right rudder. Get back to 270. There we go, somewhere right around 
from there should be quite good for attitude. That's about 75. All right, and let's start the gentle left bank to our light here at 17. Let's do that. Okay. Half circuit altitude instead of our right. We'll go just gentle, gentle, very gentle, very small turn. You're you're corrected this time. Last time you were like you were facing like the light over there. Yeah. And I was like, not quite what <laughs> we want here. I'm really finding that I'm pulling nose high a lot. That's what the guy was like. Well, you can't see anything, and your body's gonna be like, oh, I don't want to go down. Yeah. So trust your instrument. Okay, that's roughly the smoke stand. Myself a bit more space here. All right, let's turn base. So pull the power, nose dip a little bit. Goes. What's your bank angle? Way too steep. <laughs> I was just watching it slowly <laughs> tick over, and I'm like, "What you doing?" Not having the uh, the center line sure makes it more difficult to get lined up. Yeah, you want the the white lights. Yeah. It, it it's weird, hey. Yeah. So draw a line from the start to the end of the runway, and that's what you want to use. Right. So you got left rudder in for some reason. You don't need it. Not bad. You kind of stopped pulling. Yeah, well, I, kind of, I <laughs> felt like I was yeah. really high. You know, you're like on point. I was like, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're going to scoot up to the north and we'll uh, I'll show you what a forest would be at night. Oof. All right. <laughs> oof. Very oof. Alright, so we want to navigate safely around here. We want to make sure we're over a location that we know has low terrain. Right. Weirdly enough, that location that we know has low terrain is black. <laughs> so, we're going to sit over the river. All right. Your little trick is to sit as close as you can to where you know is safe. Right. So you know west side and the terrain there is safe. So you want to be able to look down your left window and know it's safe. How far is that mountain right, right next to you? Uh... Uh... uh, uh the more so meant that one. Kind of close. Yeah. I have no idea. I know. I'm, try I'm trying to give you that, like, hey, wow. where is that? Effect a little bit here. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, wow. Okay. Try to limit the amount of your nose pointing into an abyss. Okay. So we have lights. You basically track the lights. We got lights to our 1 o'clock, so let's yeah. scoot over to the lights. Uh, we get, There's a little, like, tournament thing up there, and then Hefley, you can see both of the, the larger lights, we want to fly towards those. Don't look directly at the lights either, because okay. it, it'll start to uh, make them disappear. Right, yeah. They'll start to go dim. So there's one way in the distance, that is. So, where would we go? If our engine just went poof. Uh, road? Which one? Uh, probably West Side Road. It's really easy to see. Uh, or like the many, highway? How, yeah. I was about to say, how many uh, vertical posts are on West Side <laughs> Road? That's probably why it's so easy to see. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, the weird part about it is things that you can see better are almost more dangerous. Right. So you have to figure out why can you see it. Is it a ton of lamp posts, like those light lit up areas there? Uh, or what is it? So, right off our right shoulder, you can see the Trans Canada. Right off our right shoulder. Right? Don't okay, turn too yeah. sharp, because you do have a mountain there. Yeah. Now, the only reason you can see it are vehicles. Right. So you basically want to try to fly yourself into taillights. Gotcha, okay. Alright, so, our engine dies. Right. First thing we want to do, figure out, cost check, everything like that. Yep. Second thing I'm going to get the plane to do... Pitch for 65. No. Trim to my minimum descent rate. A little different. This is a little thing that Praveen taught me that's kind of works. And our intent is if we add 10 flaps, what should happen is we should sit at a level attitude. The other part about this is we want to find our spot. Right. I see a road. It's lit up, so there's a little bit of lamps just up over there. Yep. All right, so I have the road. 
So I'm going to start my turn here. I'm going to start kind of my rate one turn. And I'm just sitting very slow. Okay. I know it's a little further away, and I know I can descend faster, right? We're only, we're sitting at 50 something knots here. 55-ish. Yeah, like... we're sitting super, super, super slow. So basically what you're doing is, is the first, to, to just to set up, you're going flaps 10, essentially, to flaps get yourself 10 even slower than... And all the way back on the trip. I'm not looking to really, the issue is you can't have a depth perception. You right. don't know when you're going to land. Right. So what you're looking to do is basically, if you hit the ground, I don't want to hit the ground like this, I want to hit the ground like that. Right, gotcha. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, this overshoot's going to suck. Okay, so aim for the terrain we see here. And we're all in here. Okay. You have control? I have controls. So climb us up to 3,500 feet. Roger. I set yourself on a little bit nicer location here. And we don't really want to go too low, so that's what I'm trying to get you. Let's try to get yourself set up a further way away, a right. safe way away. Do not crowd your field at night. Right, gotcha. Where would you turn here, left or right? Turn back around. I would turn. I would turn. It's deceptive. Uh, <laughs> I would turn left because at least I know how far I have to go before I hit the mountain. Whereas this side, I can't see the ground below. So I have no, I can know, I can see there's a mountain there, but I have no idea how far away it is. How far is that mountain? Far enough away that I could miss it. You like it? Night flying? Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a little nerve wracking at first, not gonna lie. But I mean, now that I'm up here, it's kind of like, okay, you know what? I could, I could get used to this. How are we looking? Eh? Looking high still. I guess I could slip. Yeah, slip. Flip. Full. 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 Power's idle, right? Yep. Good. Hey, don't let it steer you off course. We want to stay on the uh, on the approach path. <laughs> You're like illuminating the ground over there. <laughs> Someone driving and they're like, oh my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Alright, coming in fast. A little speedy. Very, very on idle. center line as well. Keep pulling, keep pulling, off keep, pulling keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Oh, that was not straight. Yeah, <laughs> you, <got, laughs> you touched the right tire, touched the left tire, and then landed on both. The good news is that it would have been a fantastic crosswind landing. Uh, <laughs> from, uh, from both crosswinds simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I count that? It's like three landings, so that counts. Can I count that? Can I count that? Perfect. I'm going to count that too. I got my night currency. <laughs> <laughs> Catalyst Radio Golf Victor Oscar Tango route complete. Taxiing to hold short of 27 on Echo. Victor Oscar Tango Roger. Traffic uh, base runway 27 for circuits is an RB7, and uh, they are flying the published night cover. Roger, traffic's inside Victor Oscar Tango. Uh, we will wait for them. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Yeah. Stick with that uh, published iPad, and they are uh, longer circuits than normal. Let's okay. Victor Oscar Tango, actually, I'll line up for the immediate. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Ooh, wiggly. Alright, let's get that nose up. Here, like 50 knots. There we are. Alright, so. Two and P's in the green. Do you want to do that teardrop? Do you want to maybe keep your base turning a little closer? Or is that, would that be easier for you? Victor Oscar Tango, we'll keep the base, uh, base to final in really quick. Uh, we'll do a normal base to final. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Victor Oscar Tango, downwind. 2-7. Two, 2-7, seven. Two, seven. touch and go. <laughs> Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. <laughs> this brain just shut off there for a second. 40 miles. And send those flaps uh, right away if you're high, set Get them in. Check your speed. Speed outside, speed outside. Yeah, you pull up a little bit, let that nose come up, and then let it back down as well once you once you kind of slow down to your speed. Okay, we're expanding. Let's look down the runway. Remember how low it is, right? Beautiful. Good work. A little bit of right rudder needed. We have a two-knot crosswind from the right. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, I think you overcorrected, actually. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think I did, yeah. Good, let's do another one. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a uh, landing lightless. 
No landing light. Okay. Victor Oscar Tango's final 2-7, touch and go. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Perfect approach. This is what I want to see right here. Drill that into your mind. Yeah. Mental... <laughs> picture, picture, picture. Okay, a little, little off to the left here. Let's scoot a little. Yeah, I think you're doing it, actually. Good work. Very good work. Okay, we got it. Look at the end of your landing light. Well, Watch the end of your landing light. Oh, very low. Good. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Nice. That was grade A. Cruz, just keep pulling. Hold it there. Very good job. Your landing oh. light stopped working. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Let's get that nose up. Mayday, mayday. My landing light quit. <laughs> I got passengers on board. They're going to die. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll take control here. Alright, you have controls. I have control. So, outside, inside, outside, inside. Farming as needed to make my field point. So, I like that angle coming in, and I'm going to keep it right to the start of the runway there. So I'm going to use the approach lights to line myself up. Joining uh, downwind 27, touch control. And there's 57 over the threshold and approaching the lights. So green lights go under, pull the power, look down the runway. You can kind of see what's going on here. Yeah. We're going to kind of round it off until we touch down here. A little high, but emergency procedure in a way. For sure, yeah. Any questions about that? No, I think I... Trying to feel the ground almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. It almost, in a way, I'm not going to say it's easier, but like, because you're, it forces you to use the lights as a reference, it's almost like I'm not trying to compare the ground to the lights and back and forth. I can just focus on the lights, and like, so that kind of made sense to me in that way. Sweet, sweet. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can put this thing down. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. It'll land. <laughs> It'll come down eventually. Alright, so a little high, and a little bit not lined up, it's okay, let's just slide, slide over. I was like, I was looking at that, I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to say any, and you said it, I was like, perfect, I don't need to say it. <laughs> I was supposed to land on those lights, right, like it's supposed to be right around those. Yeah, 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 front yeah, yeah. Those lights, yeah. Make sure you smack each one with the, with the, with the nose wheel as you pass through. Ooh, ten points for light. So, let's try to get the nose up over that light so it doesn't mess with our depth perception. Remember, we need a little bit of right rudder here. So looking good, we see the runway, let's go cruise, 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 and keep flaring, keep flaring, you're close, you're close, you're close, there we are, that works. Thought I was higher than I was. That works. Yeah, I was watching it come in, and I'm like, yeah, I think you're a few seconds closer than I was, but I, yeah, you, 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 you did arrive about a second sooner than I thought you would. Yeah. Take the right. over here somewhere. Do you want to try another one? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. All right, now one check, season fees, all the green, prime western may, flight staying off. I can tell you something. Every single time you've looked down, your nose has gone down today. Oh, has it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So give yourself, when you first look down for T's and P's, look back up quick and make sure it hasn't dipped. Gotcha, okay. Okay, I think I, I want to build that habit for you quick. For sure, yeah. Um, I, know, I know, and you told me that before, basically, like, do your check, look back out, do your check, look back out. Yeah. Yeah, more so the first one, because after the, after the first one, it all stays stable. I think it's just, I think your trip might be a little off, and when you look down, you let go. Oh, okay. I think it's just slightly off, and each time it's just been like a, a little bit nose low. It literally, I have control. Yeah, it literally cool. has gone from like this to that. Gotcha. But okay. enough. More Doesn't like mess that. With that yeah. more, more so enough to get you 100 or 200 feet per minute. Yeah, gotcha. sure. Okay, I have controls. Uh, I need to read the lights. Is it looking up? See the green in the green. The camera room of Richard Mag. Lights required. Looking out. Perfect. Uh, mixtures are good. Uh, feels like both. Can't break pressure against you. Now you got that image, right? It's basically flat. Yeah. When those lights on the side are basically flat, you are arriving. Right. Okay, so let's just keep that pull going. Keep the pull going. Looking really good. Looking fantastic. All right, I think you're a little, oh, 50, not 50, five feet off to the left right now. Okay, little toe right rudder. Okay, uh, a little, little aggressive. Hold it there. All right, start pulling. Oh my goodness, we are a country mile off the runway. <laughs> All right, let's work on a few uh, landing lights. I'm satisfied with that. You would get us to the ground. Okay. okay. All right, so landing light on. And full power. Oh, wow, I am. <laughs> yeah, there's your... In, there's your uh, I was looking at the, uh, 
the tire marks that looking for the center of the runway. All right, so it's going to be weird landing with the landing light now. <laughs> Don't flare yet. Hold up. So let's uh, pull the power now, and then. All right, we know what we're looking at on the sides. There you are. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. There you are. Much nicer. Land right rudder. Stop landing crooked. Break, uh, Victor Oscar Tango. Uh, I got it. the uh, RV's intentions there. Uh, Victor Oscar Tango. Negative. Sorry. Roger, he's going to fly us forward down, land and extend for the uh, Q400. Victor, ask your tango check. If there's time, could we teardrop 409 and expedite? Roger, affirmative. Yeah, if you can uh, make that teardrop quick. Uh, the Q's uh, 12 mile final and uh, showing about three minutes to landing. Victor, ask your tango, and the teardrop uh, 09 uh, pulls up. Victor, ask your tango, Roger. And, hey, uh, crank it around. It may not be time to touch it all the way to the end, though. Victor, ask your tango, we'll, uh, we'll accommodate as needed. Pull the carpet, pull the power. You've lost your engine. Pull I've it. lost engine? You pull it, you lost it. No more engine. None of us. You're, what's your speed? You're fast, so you're good. You've got it, you've got it made. I'm landing long. Yeah, that's okay. That's going to be a really weird illusion. Remember, you always feel high when you land long. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. Give me a second. <laughs> Go. Give me a second. That, that thing's going to drop like a brick there. Don't pull, don't pull. You're 55, oh, right. you're slow. Okay, there you are. Right. Beauty! Beauty! That was the best one yet! <laughs> well, the center, but I'll take it. Okay, so it is my time for my first night solo. You see, I have a very fancy headlight on, right? Oh, it's oh, the brightness! Oh my god, it's everything. Alright, lots of traffic tonight. We had a couple big planes come in, another plane doing circuits right now. Um. Well, let's see if this, if this footage is even watchable. Let's go see what we can do here. Up we go. All right, so we're clear of the ground. Climbing out. Landing light is no longer useful. Shut that off. So, in theory, that plane that's in the circuit out there is faster than me. So I shouldn't need to worry about catching it, but in practice, that pilot's actually been flying a bit slower, so I do need to be a little bit careful. So yeah, the night flying stuff, this is actually been kind of fun, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it is also kind of funny how much more relaxed I am on this solo compared to my first, my first ever solo. So it's 8.34 right now, the runway closes at 9. <laughs> like, they shut down the runway because they're doing overnight construction for the next like week or something like that. So I picked a great week to do my night rating, but the point is I need to be down and off the runway in, like, 20 minutes tops. Alright, so, there we go. Speed's good. Um, stuff speed's a little bit fast. That's okay, we're passing the threshold. Oh my goodness, I am so far off the center line. Fly to the ground, Paul, fly to the ground. There we go, pull the power out, pull it to cruise. Alright, not a terrible landing, flaps up. Alright, so that wasn't a bad landing, I was just way far off. I, I watched the, watch the tape on that one. I tell you, the folks at Kamloops, Kamloops Radio are all wonderful. If any of you ever see this, thank you all for everything that you do. Because you guys are super great. Yeah, lots of traffic tonight. They've been super helpful with us trying to get these circuits in, and like, very accommodating, and... I mean, Riley's pretty brave too, let's be honest. But yeah, it's all worked out thanks to the folks at Camelot's Radio. Thank you all. If I ever meet you in real life, I'll buy you a donut. So I think I might actually extend this downwind a little bit. I might go out a little bit farther just to give myself a bit more room and more space to get stable. Um, there's no rush. I've got 20 minutes before I can clear the runway. I'm going to be off in probably five or something. Um, so really, there's or I'll be down in less than five, I'm sure. So really, there's no um, there's no worry about that. Landing lights just picking up the ground now. Lined up pretty well. Back over there. Now over to the left again. 
All right, over the threshold. Pull the power out nice and gently. A little bit high there, it's okay. The power in there, we're kind of. Uh, go, keep pulling. Not too shabby. Sweet. There we go. First night solo done. I'm well on my way. I'm actually really, this has been really good. I'm well on my way with my night hours. Um, I, I really, well, I need 10. You do need 10 hours. Uh, five solo, five dual. But I mean, I'm. I'm you know, got a couple hours dual already and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so that's my night rating stuff, uh, or some of it. Anyway, there's like I say, there was still some instrument time to do. Uh, so that will be coming in a forthcoming video where we do some more instrument stuff in theory, assuming the footage worked out. But yeah, the night rating is cool. Flying at night's really cool. Like I say, there's there's very little traffic, and the traffic's way easier to see because you can see the twinkling lights off in the distance. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in a month for a much brighter video. Okay, bye. Huh. Well, one of us is super high. Spoiler, it's me, because I'm the one flying the plane. Okay, Sue... You better not be high. <laughs> Ever wonder, like, how the lights at night <laughs> look like stars, man?